we have the battery power coming to two clip leads. The yellow one would be used for the ammeter, which is there. And we'll hook that to the positive clip lead. For the other side, we'll hook it to a green clip lead. So now you can see the, the power from the batteries is going to come through this red wire to the yellow wire to the voltmeter lead. Go through the voltmeter <coughs> go through the voltmeter to this green lead and into the car and it goes into the car you can see it's not on this side of the resistor but on the connector side of the resistor so otherwise this resistance would limit the current and we don't want that. So it's going through the ammeter back into the car both to the motors and to the Arduino. So that's the full current path from the batteries into the car and the computer and all of the loads. On the voltmeter side we have the red clip lead connected was connected to the voltmeter red lead and then we have a black push pin on the ground line on the Arduino connected to a black clip lead connected to the black lead on the voltmeter so now we are measuring voltage from ground to directly on the battery side. Um, if we were to put the voltage voltmeter lead here, uh, we would maybe pick up a slightly lower voltage because there is a small resistance going through the ammeter. <coughs> So now we're ready to measure. Uh, we have our batteries back in. We're going to see current on this meter and voltage on this meter. And these are fully charged batteries. So let's make sure our leads aren't getting caught up in the wheels. And I'll lift it up here and turn it on. You can see about 600 milliamps DC, 610, 620 milliamps, and about 7.8 volts when the car is under that load. Now initially the car doesn't start out running, so let's see what the voltage is without the motor load and just the Arduino coming up. 8.3, so about 8.28 volts with uh, just the Arduino.